Tom. Okay, welcome back, everyone. Uh, last time we crash landed on a planet, I didn't get it to eat any of the f delicious food on there. But uh, now I guess we're going back to the Valley of Repose to uh, get more treasure to pay off the company debt. Louis, get away from that mic. It is I who narrates R. With my, with my sultry tones, I narrate. I shall be on the race. Whatever you say, boss. Hmm. Okay, what do you, what does the ship have to say to us now? Good morning, workers. Ready for another day of toiling for the profit of your company? The Pikmin seem to still be asleep inside their onions. What lazy creatures. No wonder they lack survival skills. Stand beneath the onion and press A to call them out. Well, that's one thing the ship and I can agree on. Alright, let's get Ryan out here. I do believe I'll leave Louie to whatever the hell he does. He seems to be just standing there, admiring... admiring food, as it were. Seems to be all he's good for. Alright, go ahead and pluck those pellets. Uh, Louie, you remain behind here. I'll, um... I'll be doing, uh, Pikmin-related things. Oh. This is rather new. I don't think I saw any structures like this last time I was here. Hmm. Could the planet's inhabitants have advanced since the last time I was here? Oh, maybe, maybe. Perhaps there's something else over, over this way. My goodness, these Pikmin are slow. Slower than Louie, and Louie, well, I'd wager he's pretty slow. Oh, here's where Louie landed. I'm surprised the indent is still there. So fresh, too. Hmm, it's a shame he didn't die. I suppose if it wasn't snowing, it'd be quite a lot easier for him to have died. Alright, let's go ahead and propagate our species here. Yeah, the one. There we are. Alright, go ahead, you, you fools take those back. I'll run back to Louie. Alright, Louie! How are those Pikmin coming along? Sauteed and ready to go, boss! Alright. One little, two little, three little Pikmin, four little, five little, six little Pikmin. You know, I'm starting to appreciate how cute they are. They're adorable. I don't think I could ba bear to eat them. Alright, let's keep on moving then. Should this go any further, I believe Louis was going to devour all of our troops. Quite the hungry one, that one. Too bad he can't eat any of the things that eat our Pikmin. Oh, hello there, Louis. How are you doing? Come, come with me, I require you for something. All right. We're going to, uh... We're going to a space burger next, right? Yes, yes, of course. Now help me throw these Pikmin up here. Oh, don't, oh, bugger all. They seem to still be carrying things back. Why are you trying to throw it on top of that bag? How do you know that's a bag? It's gigantic. Well, it, it's bag in origin. And in shape. I don't know. I'm a, I, I, I just from scientific findings, you know? Scientific. Yes. You, with you, of course. Perfect. D brilliant. You're one in a million there, Louis. I'm going to call you Lou from now on. I hope you appreciate that. That is your new nickname that I've given to you thusly. Oh, don't call me Lou. That's what I want my grandkids to call me. You're not even married. Well, you know. Live and learn. I don't even know where to begin with you anymore. Alright. Good job, good job. Oh. Well, I wonder if the old strategy still works. Okay. I'm gonna sneak up quietly behind him. Holy moly! That would feed me for about five minutes! Shh! Sneak up quietly then, Louie. Attack him! Go, my Pikmin! They don't seem to be attacking very quickly now as they once did! Okay. We've lost a few there. Whoa! Dang, he went sliding! Alright, I guess we lost a few on the way there. No big deal. 
All right. All right, good, good. Let's go ahead and get on, get our Pikmin onto these creatures here to carry more back. All right, get on that five pellet then. Good, good. Now let's see, what do we have here? Looks like, oh, this could, this metal could be useful. Hmm. I suppose, oh, there's a wall here too. Well, once we propagate our species, we'll be able to come back here post haste and, are you even listening, Louie? Not really. I'm just really impressed by how big this thing is. How do you think we should cook it? We are not cooking it, the Pikmin need it. We need to propagate the species in order to bring about my global conquest. These things are very valuable. Oh, okay. Well, let's get to plucking then. One little, two little, three little- None of that! None of that, Louie! No! None of that at all! On the bright side, this goes twice as fast with you here. Well, I- I like to- it's good to know that my talents are appreciated. Mm, quite. Alright, let's go tear down that wall. Okay. And by the way, Louie, I've been mean to ask you something. Oh, what? Why does your voice- why does your voice squeak so much? What are you talking about? Never mind. It's... irrelevant. I mean... It could have been from something I ate. Or maybe I aged poorly, or where are you going? Keep an eye on the wall, I'm going to go drown myself. Okay! There's no water here. Blast! Well, anyway, any- any- Distance far away from Louis is- Oh my goodness! I didn't even notice what this was! What am I looking at here? It's incredible! It seems they're almost done with the wall. I should take a few of them to grab that- that tin can thing I saw. Hopefully this is enough. It's a large object, and I remember my ship parts having quite a bit of a- of an issue. Grab this treasure, Pikmin! Of course I'm short. Oh good, they finished the wall. How could Pikmin destroy such a massive wall when mass there might could be ferocious? Louie, did Olimar instruct you on proper Pikmin commanding protocol? Apparently not. Olimar, you are failing in your duty as a superior. Allow me to explain. Press A to grab Pikmin and release to throw them. Call them to group with B. Press the X to disband the group and C-Stick to or issue orders and objectives to the group. C-Stick is useful for swarming Pikmin around treasures or enemies, or making them march in a line. Hey Louie, would you mind bringing those other Pikmin over here? Oh sure thing! Come on little guys! Oh, I wish I could name each and every one of you, but you all look the same. All you have to know is that Ryan is the one that's the dumbest but always lives. That sounds about right. Alright, well... Come here, Olimar. I guess we should continue exploring this way. Yes. Suppose we should. Oh, there's water. I could have drowned myself here. What? Nothing. Just lamenting. Oh, what's this? Interesting. Warm air is welling up from the hole in the ground before you. What could lie underground? What is wrong? You both show expressions of unease. Do not fear. The leader's group of Pikmin will join you. I shall dispatch my research pod too. Approach the hole and press A to jump in. Well, I do believe we're going to need to go back. Uh, Louie, why don't you go grab the Pikmin and I'll, uh... I'll just wait here. Okay. Maybe something will eat him along the way. Oh, nothing eats me along the way. I'm really hungry. Maybe I could just like chomp on one of these guys and it'll grow back. I mean, it is a plant after all. Would any of you mind that? I'd want to get your permission first since you're all still alive and we're going to be working together for a while. Um... Hello? Boy, they're dedicated. I can see why they, uh, why Olimar likes them so much. 
Oh, is one of you Ryan, by the way? Oh, sweet, we got it back. I wonder what it is. I have called this utter scrap. It looks like a crushed soda can, only in mega form. All right, let's head back there, little guys. You got this. You seem to be falling behind. We'll have to fix that with some calisthenics and hard cardio. Although I don't know anything about that. I tend to eat most of uh, most of the instruction booklets that are f that are given to me. Uh, anyway, I guess we should jump into the hole. Mm, yes, indeed. The emergence cave, I'm going to call it. Why do you get to name it? Why do I get to name it? Are you serious? Are you serious? Why do I- What would you call this cave, then? The donut hole? Exactly why I'm naming them. Alright. We appear to be in some, uh... Some dire straits here. Can we even get out of here? Intriguing. My heat sensors indicate that this hole's interior is warmer than the one on the surface. Analysis suggests subterranean areas may support different life forms than the surface. If you wish to check underground terrain, press start slash pause to communicate with me. I am not just a ship, I am an all-purpose support pod. Oh, good for you, good for you. Louis, how do you work with this? How do I work with what? I mean, just in general, how do you work in general? Um... I don't really. Uh, call him back, call him back, call him back. Oh! Is he? Nope, not coming. Good. What are, what are you so afraid of, anyway? Well, we're doing some pretty good uh, good jobs here. Oh, hurry up and throw him on the... There we are. Good, 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 good. Thank goodness. All right. Take the bottle cap, then. Well, take that item, I should say. Yeah, it looks like a bottle cap. And, uh, go ahead and grab this, uh, what appears to be a fruit. I'm not entirely sure what kind of fruit it's supposed to be, but... A fruit nonetheless. I think it's an orange. Um... Or maybe a grapefruit. How do you know these things? Oh, good, it came back. What are these strange markings on here? It reads seven up. What? What are you? There's no way you can read seven up. How do you? It's, it's a language that none of us know. It clearly says seven up right there. Come on, get your head in the game, Olimar. I, I, are you serious? Are you serious? Come now. I don't believe your silliness for a moment. We have a job to focus on. You're thinking of silly little. Things such as names for these and what have you. There, it's a citrus lump. Are you happy now? Good lord, Louis. Sometimes I don't know what to do with you. Well, we've only been at this for two days. Yes, and it's two days too many. This hole appears to be quite deep. My sensors indicate more treacherous terrain ahead. Louie, do you, you do recall that you can adjust the camera with L and R and Z, correct? Your expression suggests you do. Excellent. Then approach the hole and press A to enter it. I'll approach the hole and press A, thank you very much. Yes, delve deeper! We're going deeper into the hole. Alright then, saving indeed. Down we go. It would appear. Triple star the bonus kazoo! Kick Snoop! Kazooed in two dollars and said, So it looks like Ryan has been keeping the Pikmin in line while Ulmar's been gone. Not really, because there was only there were only five of them left. Oh dear! Oh dear! Ew. Good, good, we didn't lose any Pikmin, although. Oh there he is. One over there. Aha! This should be of some use to us. Looks like half of a globe. 
It's inconceivable that such an immense object has been buried here for so long. The design on the outer shell resembles the surface of the planet as I've seen it from space. Perhaps this can be used for something other than salvage. But how will we ever lift it? I fear that even 100 red Pikmin will be able to lift it. Oh, nonsense! I'm sure they can do it! Oh my goodness, they cannot lift it at all. Uh, I can't believe I'm saying this, but Louie, any ideas? I mean, I guess we could, like, nibble the corners off of it, and maybe it'll be, it'll be lighter. We're going to jump to a commercial while I contemplate killing myself and or Louie. See you all in a little bit.